Hey, Galactic here. For a while, I wanted to make a video on this topic. When I first played and researched Iggy for my little no videos, I came across various comments that pointed out something I noticed. Undertale and Iggy have a lot of things in common. I played Undertale first, so naturally I was making the same comparisons when I was going through Iggy for the first time. For example, the two games have branching paths that are referred to as pacifist and genocide routes, with many neutral paths in between. The games also have several flags that trigger small events for small, seemingly inconsequential actions. So I always felt like the games were self-aware, giving a wink at the player by acknowledging their actions, no matter how inconsequential they may seem. Just to clarify, Iggy came out way before Undertale. It was released by Remar back on September 1st, 2008, and Undertale made its debut on Kickstarter back in June of 2013, but there's more than just gameplay elements that can be compared. These two games were mostly developed by a single person using the Game Maker engines, and both creators are known fans of Homestuck. Heck, Itchy even had a small fan base on the Homestuck forums before they were taken down. As a matter of fact, I never saw Remar and Toby Fox in the same room. Have you? Jokes aside, one fan is still carrying out those adventures to this day. He hosts a Tumblr called Alpha Struck, so if you happen to be a fan of Itchy, why not check it out? I included a link to the site below. But back on topic, I don't want to say Undertale copied Itchy or anything like that. There are plenty of other titles too that did similar things, but there are other similarities I couldn't help but notice. But there isn't a video or article on this topic. The closest I've come across is a couple of Reddit threads that compares the two. However, there are plenty of comments on YouTube and there are fans online that mentions the same thing. So I just wanted to toss my opinion in and show you just how similar these games are, and also how they present their views under different themes. Of course, there's going to be major spoilers for both games, but I assume most folks here have played Undertale or at least are more well aware of the plot, you know, besides Sans the Skeleton Man. So to save time and be a bit more clear on this topic, I'm going to be going in more depth with Iggy. So, spoilers ahead. 